work. And honestly, yeah, honestly, that is how the script goes. And if anything, and if anything, uh, hopefully Stock Taker just sticks with uh, Stock Taker just sticks with uh, Village of the whole set. And right now, you see Lady Stock Taker with all the stage control that he could want, but then giving it up, trying to give John off the stage, getting two up tilts back to back. Dash attack there, off stage. Oh, every time I see Stock Taker's villager, it's so exciting to me. I absolutely love watching his villager. He's so patient with it, and John has to be so careful when he's charging it up. So he cannot drop down out of panic. He has to remember it's active, and it will kill you no matter what percent you're at. So I'm uh, really great for Stock Taker for still committing to it, because it does call out so much. It, call it catches you sleeping. Uh, you shouldn't be sleep. This is scary now that he also has uh, that Sun Salutation pocketed. But I don't know if he's going to use it right now. Oh, but he's just going to use that to uh, negate negate John Numbers' Sun Salutation and try to hit him with it, but it didn't yep. work. And I love Soxic, who's crouching again because he's just potentially preemptively ducking onto any potential forwarders. And now Stock Taker has the Soccer Ball pocketed. And the soccer ball can convert into so much. He can do down to a four liter soccer oh, ball. Oh man. The back is so meaty. Killing him from across the stage. Deep breathing is no joke. Oh, no joke at all, man. Once we fit trainer gets all the oxygen she needs. Ooh. Remember, guys, if you take a nice deep breath, you can kill somebody with a single kick. Anyhow. <laughs> um, Right now, Stock is doing a great job of just running up all of this damage on numbers. And I also really, really admire his ability to always be able to neutralize a soccer ball with one of his forwarders or side beats. So just making sure that numbers, his entire game plan is getting invalidated. Ooh, oh, that could have ended a lot there. more poorly. Again, John Numbers opting to stay off yep. stage, charging up deep breathing. And right now, because he's conditioned, you're going to see Stock Ticket with the inevitable drop down air, the drop down down air, just to do what the bowling ball can't. It's always going to be a 50 50 with the recovery mix ups from this point forward. That's the implications, that's the status quo that he set. Really, really great roll read, a multi jab, but then, huh. Oh, he's going off stage for this one. Nope. Almost getting that packet, which might have even been able to kill, but I'm not entirely sure. And right now, you see John getting back to stage successfully. He has a deep breathing. This is very, very scary for Villager right now because getting knocked off stage against um, stock tape against John with breathing is super. Uh, <laughs> and again, he's using that wind box from that uh, watering can to push the yep. soccer ball away. I think John we grab stage. Ah. Oh. Just slightly mistiming the F smash. It's deep breathing. Oh, Ooh, I weird believe ass. that was the there. F tilt or the up tilt trading with the side beam. That's what it looked like to me. I'm not too sure. Well, regardless, right now, Stock Ticker is super deep off stage. Really great use of his jump to make sure that he's not going to get hit with a forward. Air. Yeah, I'm just even looking back at what happened there. I couldn't even tell what that exchange was. Yep. Oh, he's going to capitalize that on him pocketing that. That was amazing that. bait. I'm yeah. very, very confident that Numbers threw that out and was thinking, okay. Oh, he's uh -oh. going to hit by that ball. Yes, ball. He's going to throw another one at him. Drifts away from it. Yep. Stock Ticker could have held that a little bit longer on the charge, and who knows what kind of fate that would have had for John. And now he's going to set up that tree. Ooh. Okay, he's going to roll away from it. Not a complete way, still able to get a nail off of it. And the multi jab at ledge is so dangerous. He's able to Ooh. get so much off of it, just keep him there for a really long time. And it doesn't do as much damage as it looks like it does, but it's just very tilting regardless. Oh yeah, no, especially the, especially on how long he kept him in that jab boy. He probably could have kept him in there for maybe a few more hits if he wanted to. Ooh, John doing a fantastic aggressive option on the landing this time with the down air instead of rolling. Forward Wait. throw. He's gonna pocket the soccer ball. Yep. Oh, again, stopping that sun salutation with the Lloyd. That Lloyd is good at taking it. That's good at taking uh, uh, John Fun's numbers projectiles. Ooh, I love that. He knew that Stop Siku was gonna be there through the bowling ball, and so that soccer ball 
um, just to like counteract that, to drift away from it. So it's beautiful momentum for the members. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that time he got him with the tree. You cannot underestimate the power of the tree. It is so active. You know, it is so ridiculously active. Um, Man, I just realized that was only game one. <laughs> yeah, welcome to two zoners fighting each other. Oh uh, boy. Um, okay, listen, Belmont Main, you're not supposed to be one talking about timeouts here. <laughs> um, you're right. <laughs> you're right. And Jonathan, this game is actually going to opt for the Beast Sword Fighter. Huh. Hey, that's interesting. But I guess, uh, because he probably just wants to reflect all of the forward airs away from him and whatever, yeah. he, and whatever stock taker can, can pocket. We're getting the down throw into forward air dash attack. Really, really great stuff. Great bread and butters. And unfortunately, not being able to reflect the side B in time. I'm not even sure how that was able to explode on him, but still working out for stock. Ooh, John with the horizontal fashion. Gonna go off stage a little bit. Nope. I oh, try to reverse him away with the reflect. Let's see. Oh, he gets him with that forward smash. Sock Taker now sitting at 82.6%. Oh, he tried. <laughs> he tried. It looks like he tried to pocket something, but good. Oh, he's got a, got a nice confirm yep. there. And that's, you know, that's definitely one of the basis of a lot of. Me Sword Fighter's game plan is, and it is maybe a little bit predictable at times, but that is Me Sword Fighter's win condition. It's, I will hit you with neutral B now, I'll hit you with up B, and you will be dead from any point of 75% or onward. And if the up B doesn't connect, you know what will? Up air. Uh -huh. um, but regardless, John is already bringing this game back almost at an equal percent. All he needs is one good forward or something of the like. I'm gonna reflect that Lloyd away. Ooh, pocketing one of those fast chakrams, which is so, so nice, especially if John is off stage, which can just snipe him and get that little extra bit of damage and knock back that he needs. Really, really great burst dash attack. Reflecting yep, he, that's what he wants to do. He wants to reflect that, that forward air. But Stock Ticker does hit him with that pocketed chakra. Right now, stock taker. Ooh, that he was just, he, so he just good. down here right into that Lloyd. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. John, a little bit too hasty. You have to be so careful when you're buffering ledge options against Villager, especially when the tree is out. Yes, if you buffer the ledge Ooh. option unnecessarily, thank you thank so you, much, Devin. Devin. Um, if you buffer the ledge option against the tree, that will literally beat out everything that you can do. So you just have to stay patient. You have to keep your eyes open. You have to keep your eyes peeled, no matter the circumstances. But right now, John is doing a great job of deflecting a lot of what um, the villager is just throwing right at him. Oh, he's got to get him on that platform with that forward air. Mm-hmm. Got to air it. John was going to... Oh, that's punishable. Yep. Very, very punishable, especially when you have a grab that's, uh, you know, quite like villagers. Even though villagers grab is not nearly as big as in this game as it was in 4, um, it is still quite a disjointed grab reach. And right now, just stock, you just see him playing a little bit more passively, just like back carrying his shield, just like saying, get off of me. I'm just trying to control my own space right now. Oh, get, hits him with that pocketed chakram. Ah, uh, he's going through the Tetris Ooh, opportunity. That's not a trade you want to take, though. Yep. And here's the thing, like, the Lloyd Rocket comes out so quickly, and it's just this big, giant, meaty shield in front of you. That basically, if you hit it, like unless you perfectly space the way you're hitting it, like you're gonna be, you're gonna be punished for quite hard. Um, it's, it has like four or three different hitboxes on it, like four different ways that it explodes, and the startup one is definitely one of the most powerful. So, right now, Stock Taker sitting on a lead of 2-0 right now. Um, this is looking really, really good for him. And John choosing to stick with the Beast Sword Fighter, getting the correct lead on the tech there, going with the multi jab. He's just throwing out that reflector, expecting uh, Stat Ticket to throw out some forward yep. airs. Doing it a little bit preemptively, he's doing it outside of the react, inside of the, well, outside of the reactable distance, as in he's too close to react to it. Yeah. So that's why he's just throwing it preemptively because he knows he can get something started off of it. 
but Stock Tickly staying one step ahead, making sure he doesn't get too antsy with it. And I love the way that he shoots his side B into the tree because he's just using it to explode the rocket. And I think one thing about John Numbers is that he, I think he's paying close attention to what projectiles he's throwing at because he also wants to make sure yep. that Villager does not find one of his tornadoes. Ooh. And I'm surprised that the down air from Stocktaker didn't connect. And Stocktaker's, uh, and rather John Numbers is up is the one that Ooh. he failed. So, yeah, so Stocktaker threw the pocket in Chakra, and then John Numbers reflected it right back. That made it pretty powerful. Yep. And the reflected side B, this time actually finally taking Stocktaker out. And I think this is the first time that uh, John has had to lead. Yes, indeed. And now maybe John's starting to get some momentum here. Ooh, the nail almost shooting, oh, but then the no, air dodge. Nah, he's gonna not enough back. to take. Yep. Villager having maybe one of the deepest abilities to recover in the entire game. Yeah, that along with uh, Isabel. Yep. But Villager's uh, drift compared to Isabel is so much better. Isabel is kind of like stuck in the direction that she commits to. I agree with that one. Yes, that is true. Great job multi jabbing his shield like that. And the parry. Well, parry's in play, yep. yeah. Even, even Stock Taker knew, like, this wasn't going to work out. I'm yep. actually going to get punished. And but right here and now, you're going to see the multi jab come out. Only deal 10%, not too much at all. Not going to pocket that Chakra, but he's going to get him in the down air. Oh, he's going to burn. Ooh, good combo coming out from numbers. <laughs> Playing with the dash attacks, doing so much damage, just keeping John off of the stage. Oh, almost setting him there with the bowling ball, but now he's setting up that ledge pressure. Ooh, that could have been really, really bad for John really quickly. But he yeah. was trying he to deflect trying to the, shield. the tree. And oh, but he does yeah. get hit by it though. The bait from Stock Taker because he conditioned him all set to think when I jump, I will chop tree. And then John was ready with the reflector, and then Stock Taker was like, well, I'm actually going to shoot it a little bit later. He got mixed on, big boy. Mm -hmm. um, and right here, we're going to see more of those multi jabs connecting. Villager has one of the most potent multi jabs in the game. Super, super, like, like great, and it's easy to follow up off of. Mm -hmm. Now, once again, he's setting up these let's traps. Yep. And right now, he got one chop, and John uh, is going to try to reflect he's it. Gonna try to it again. Nah, he, did, he didn't try to reflect it that time, though. Yep. And right now, Stock Taker has taken back the lead for himself. You see John playing back a whole lot more, opting for the chalk comps, not even caring if Stock Taker pockets them because he knows that he can't kill me with it. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Trying to poke him with these down tilts, but can't get any of them. Reflected the Lloyd, pocketing in another chakra, but he's going to get a throw, forward throw. Oh, he threw out the tornado, but yep, good the, choice on Stock Taker's part throwing out that Lloyd, too. That side beat, just such an amazing oh, interrupt tool. There's no way he's going to kill from no, that bar. No way! That was crazy! He killed all the way from the bottom, like, right near the other ledge, all the way to the other side of the stage! And I just saw the momentum. Not even DI could have saved him. That had so much hits done. That was insane. Look at this. He was at what percent? He was at 100, 134. 134. Well, look at that. So look at that. Looks he so carries it from the upbeat. bottom, from the bottom of the stage, right from the ledge, all the way to the other side. Uh, my head hurts. Uh. <laughs> and with that, John Numbers is like, "Yeah, I'm confident enough to go back to WeFit." All right. <laughs> He managed to pull off that kill. It's like, no, I want to go back to We Fit now. <laughs> Anyhow, Stock Taker definitely a little. I'm not, I don't know how I feel about that one. I'm, so, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't. I don't think that should have happened the way it did. But going <laughs> into game four, who cares what happened in the last game? Because right now, all we know is that Stock Taker is down 90% to John, who has 20, pocketing the soccer ball really, really beautifully. And now he has an extra option against all of John's little, little, little bag of projectiles. Well, I think it's a really bold choice for him to go all the way back to Ethan. Ah, uh, F Smash trying to maybe lead a drop down or maybe a panic option from John. Regardless, not able to connect it. And that oh. positioning on the roll punish was genuinely beautiful. <laughs> look at the look on John's face. He didn't like the way he got hit by that tree. Yep. <laughs> Woo, and that's when the soccer ball comes right back in handy. 
But off stage is where John Numbers excels, and he has, does have. And look at that soft ball bounce on his shield, and he was still able to pocket it. But that doesn't even matter anymore because John got the F tilt kill, the deep breathing active once again. Super, super scary stuff. Indeed, indeed. But now Numbers has to find a way to close out the stock on John. He has to get an early kill or maybe get an edge guard, which is so difficult considering how beautifully John is just able to play around Legend, make it his own, getting the landing back here, but the landing aerial from Villager as well. Making this another even game. Yep. The dash attack, ooh, not at the percent when you don't get enough hit stuns to be able to combo into Corridor. Now, Numbers just pay, playing a little passively, just jumping above him. Yep. Going with those rising neutralers, maybe trying to stuff out a jump approach, or if you were to buffer a, a soccer ball, the nail would have easily deflected it back. Mm -hmm. Especially considering that villager spins around and the entire body's a hitbox. Ooh. So it's really dangerous for numbers right now. He has to recover linearly. Ah, oh, and stock taker. It was so close. Yes, he got hit the by that double interrupt. Ball. And he does not get back on time to punish with another F smash. Thus, John got right back on. Yeah, now see, wait a minute. Stock taker pocketed. Oh, yeah, pocketed the soccer ball. Okay, yep. but he just threw it away. And again, what I think is really, really interesting is that you don't see stock taker going through the pockets on the neutral beam. On the sun salutation. Yeah, which is a very interesting thing. But I also think a lot of it just because I think if you pocket the soccer ball, numbers cannot produce another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably what he's waiting for. But I think in order to get some kills, maybe he wants to take a fully charged sun salutation. Uh, he Ooh, almost neutral, he perfect. almost neutral rolls up into that tree. He's gonna do it again. He's gonna set up another tree. Right now, this is really, really even. Um, Sakutiku still has a pocket of soccer ball, so you're not going to see John able to stall with it off stage. Well, he's able to stall, he's just not able to kill or even just push back stock with it. Those dash attacks on the shield are very, very dangerous. John has to be careful of that, but he might be actually able to low profile the nail out of shield for Villager. Ooh. That's not, that ball did have a little bit of power on it, but it was not enough to get the kill. Yep, John drifting in, making sure that he's not getting hit by that soccer ball again. Let's see. Nope. And honestly, I feel like Sockstick can get away with being a little bit more aggressive with the tree in the set as opposed to the Mii Sword Fighter, since he doesn't even have to worry about the reflective being a thing anymore. That's true. He doesn't have to worry about that. But he's just trying to get... Oh, he gets him with the up tilt. And right now, stock ticker is sitting at 114%, and it can be so difficult sometimes to take the stock on Villager, considering Villager has so much survivability, so much sustain, and just the never really the incentive to commit to options that Villager doesn't have to. I see and now, John Numbers doesn't know what to do against this wall. Woo! That, thought, that did a number on his shield. What, the tree? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And he's re-grabbing ledge. This is quite dangerous. Ah, the yeah. ledge roll. Stock has to be careful to punish those. Good really, pocket really good there. pocket on the soccer ball. Yeah, I've told not enough to take it from across the stage. But had that been the reverse hitbox, that have been a very different story indeed. Trying to read him with the soccer ball, but unfortunately not getting the hit. Oh, and that's the F smash. That's the F smash. Oh, oh. and trying to get the down air, but off on the timing. He was a little bit too early with it. Fourth throw. And John is like still crouching and everything, but the back throw not enough to take it, especially considering that deep breathing is not active. However, he does get the grab right now. A forward throw would definitely, maybe it's not even just that. A back throw will do it just yep. right there. Right now, this is an almost even game, but the percentage, the, the inequity is growing between them ever so slightly as Stockton could get those nail hits in. Alright, still gonna set up another tree. But again, John Numbers still not trying to contest him on stage. Just opting to still stay off. Yep. And it's really, really smart that Numbers is actually neutral getting it back before he re grabs Ledge. So, of course, he doesn't lose the invulnerability that is so precious to his game plan. Yeah, that's why you really don't see him getting hit by all these yep. trees. And right now, there goes his interrupt tool. 
Stock Taker has a hold of it, so the next time he's off stage can be especially dangerous. Ooh, that falling fully so menacing. Oh, oh that, was a, that was almost a risky roll by John Numbers. He could have rolled right into that tree. Yep. And right now he just let go and of the And actually, softball. we should be paying attention to the time here because there is only 40 seconds left on the clock. Honestly, Stock Taker right now, if he wanted to, he could go for the timeout considering he's a, such a big lead right yeah, now. Yeah, I say, yeah, I say just play very, play very passively because he's got 30 seconds left and he's sitting at a very comfortable position. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, we got about 22 uh -oh. seconds. Uh oh, but uh -oh. things are, things are starting to change a moment. bit. Uh oh, All right, 15 he's seconds. He's got to get back on the stage. 15 seconds. All right. He's looking for the back to close it off. That All right, really, 10 really seconds. He it. just really just has to run away from him now. Back throw. Yes. Will that kill? Yes. Yes, it will. That and is Villager's kill throw. It is so potent. And that is going to be Grand Finals. Venia versus John Numbers. I mean, oh. Stock take a 69. I did, I, did, I did that entire setup <laughs> and I got the game wrong. <laughs> hey. You I know, put so, so much effort into committing to that. <laughs> I 